Hello, it's good to see you. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at my dad's uh, water-powered generator. Now, this is something that he created himself. It's not something he bought somewhere. He's been working on it and using it. He's had it in use for years and he's made changes and improvements to it over the years. And I just thought it was just the coolest thing. And he wanted to show you how it works and what it's made up of. So today in this video, we're gonna take a look at his uh, water powered, his hydroelectric generator and how he made it and how it works. And we're gonna start out at a place called Mount Airy Iron and Metal. And he refers to it as the junk iron place. Uh, he refers to it as that, my supplier, my shopping center, and that is where he got most of the parts that make up his generator. He built this thing himself. He is a machinist. He, he knows how to do all kinds of metal work and all kinds of things like that. So he made it from scratch using, using mostly scrap parts from Mount Airy Iron and Metal. And he wanted to say a special thank you to the guys that run Mount Airy Iron and Metal because he's, he's really gotten to know them over the years. He goes there all the time and looks for stuff that he can use not only for his generator, but for other projects that he works on uh, every day. So we're going to start there. We're going to go to Mount Airy Iron and Metal, and then we're going to go to my dad's house and take a look at the generator from the start down to the finish. So this is where you get stuff to to build your your uh, anything. Any build anything with the stuff out here. Well, I believe it. Got rims. Is that a kerosene heater? Yeah. Oh wow. You're trying to get it before it's piled up. Well, yeah. Yeah. So what kind of stuff have you gotten out here to make your water your water wheel, your generator? Wherever you find whatever. <laughs> what all have you found out here? All of it. All of it? Oh yeah. What is that? Is that a water heater? Yeah. Huh. What is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Like a nest. Wow. I don't know how you look at all this and figure out like I mean to me when I look at it I don't I would not know what to take out of here. <laughs> well, you have to sort of even know what you need to start with. Well, that would help. Is that a VCR? No, it's uh I don't know what that is. Looks like one. Oh, it's a dish DVR. Okay. Huh. Wow. Okay, so you said you saw something you wanted to get. Yeah, it's down there in the box. Oh. You got no sockets. So. Oh. <laughs> see if I can find one in a few minutes. See a bunch of cans over there. Yeah. So they buy. I guess you could bring your cans here and. Yeah, he bought one of cans. Okay. A lot of, a lot of wheels everywhere. Keep seeing wheels. They missed the box with it. Oh, it goes in there. Okay. Wow. Is that a gas tank or yeah. a water? Okay, a water oh, tank. Something. I guess that <laughs> looks like one anyway. Yeah. All right. A furnace, I'll buy. A furnace. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Wow. And they take a few cars in here. Oh, yeah. So with the car, do they just leave it like that? or? Yeah, they crush it as good as they can with the, that big magnet dropping. Uh, what? Oh, he got a satellite dish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they lock them here. What is, and what is that? That's a heater of some kind. It's huge. Furnace of some kind. It looks like a train. <laughs> Big pipe. And exercise equipment. Oh, really? There is an old. An oh, old is it? Yeah, an exercise uh, bike. 
How about that? And a washing machine. Yeah. And a, there's a dryer. <laughs> Gosh. And lots of that because they build a lot of carports up here. Aren't yeah. there several companies that build yeah, do whole, carports? Whole and they bring all their scrap yeah. here. Goodness. Hmm. And a giant yeah. magnet that picks up steel. Yeah. Yeah, that, that crane, this, the gears in it are wore out. It's, it's, oh, okay. It's about. It's 50 years old, I guess. Born wow. Old, old. Huh. That's crazy. And they go, he just replaced it with that. Oh, okay. And just hadn't got rid of the other one yet. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. I'm up near the front, and I found an old heater. It has crackers on it. That's cute. Look at that. Look at this little, look at this little thing. That's adorable. So we're up front and my dad's in there looking for a socket wrench so he can get a carburetor. I, it's crowded, I figured I'd stay out of the way. And there, this is where people come and sell cans and scrap metal and stuff. I don't know, I don't know if he's found it yet or not. Let's go see. Did you find it? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't find one. No. Wow, forty-five cents a pound. That's pretty good. How about that? Need to bring my cans up here. What kind of? Do you need me to move this door? No, hold that just a minute. I got to screw the bolts out now. I can't get it out. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it this way. Pot in there too. Wow. I guess it's gone. <laughs> you want me to get down there and look for no, it? No, no, no. It don't make any difference. I can look for that, it. No, I don't matter. Okay. <laughs> so that's a lawnmower carburetor. Yeah, it's a lawnmower carburetor. Yeah. It's pretty. Okay. It looks like a fish. <laughs> That'll be good. So we come down here. We are way up the mountain from the house and being very careful this is very steep but look we have a handrail you gotta go under I'm coming <laughs> I'm hold I'm holding on spider webs these leaves are slippery Okay. Ah. This is something I have to do about once every week or two weeks in the summertime. Okay.
catches a little. It catches a little bit? Yeah, that, that catches a lot of rocks and stuff and sticks. Yeah. So it's going into this pipe? Yeah. Okay. So that keeps it's, all the trash out of it. All right. <laughs> That's a playground slide. Oh, it's a slide. Look at that. Heard the few around here, y'all. All right. Down at the bottom, I got a two and a half inch nozzle. Anything bigger than two and a half inches will stop it up. That's what all that's for, to stop the trash coming down. So you have this, what's that? Uh, that's something I took out. Oh. <laughs> it goes into this eight inch pipe, and then right down here, it goes, drops to six inch, and it goes 500 foot down to the house. Wow. And it drops 85 feet in elevation before it gets up. All right. Which means about 35 pound pressure down there. Cool. Yeah, see that? What was that? That was a pipe. I had it here. That I got it out the bottom of there. I let it run down into the bottom and come out. and. I made, it go, made a new one and it comes straight into pipe now. It, it feeds a little better. Oh, okay. Well, that's a big tree. <laughs> that's a huge tree. It woke up the neighborhood except for me when it fell. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Wow. And the creek drops, the water drops about 30 foot right below that, as far as you can see down there. Right. Now we have to get the water going again. The pipe is empty. It's empty. It was one. Right. 
and it holds about 600 gallons of water, the pipe does. Wow. And less than a minute, it'll be full. Goodness. <laughs> I don't know how much it's using. I'm guessing four or 500 gallons a minute. Wow. Oh, you see it now? Oh, it yeah. Running over now. Yeah, it's not. It's all going straight in. Well, yeah. When the pipe gets full, it'll start running over now. Yeah. Good. That's a slide. <laughs> I love it. Well, that runs over. The pipe's oh, full. Oh, it's full. Okay. My good. If the pipe's full, you don't have no problem. Yeah. Right. A rock came down and bent that. Yeah, it gets up over all this when it's a big, a big rain. Wow. So it gets higher. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. It's beautiful up here. Yeah. The rock from my area out of the middle, I'd be living under that rock up there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. When the leaves are falling, twice a day. You have to do this twice a day. Yeah, if you, I just cut it off for about a month. Yeah. But, uh, I, I'm making this, and I've got a screen to put over there. I hope we'll solve that problem. But I ain't put it on yet. I'll put it on this summer sometime. Okay. I hope it'll work. Got one that's fine enough that to where I believe the leaves and gravel to wash on off. Go on out and fall down in the street and go on back. Yeah. I hope. All right. A lot of times I've said it wrong. Well, that's all right. So back up the hill we go. There's a pipe I put in there, that short one going down there. This. To catch the gravel. And rock. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this. The gap off and they fall out. So this is the extension of the pipe that you just cleaned out, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Well, that, that's a. The and gravel goes down and falls in that vat and fills it up. Of course, I ain't cleaned it in two months. So. So you have to get down in there to open that up to get the gravel out. Yeah, but it. You want me to do it? it no, it don't stop. I can't tell no difference when I do or when I don't. Oh. So. So you have, is that metal um, holding, these wires are holding this pipe up? Yeah. Tied to the tree. Down the hill. Yeah. And there's posts along that I've Oh, uh-huh. To so hold it up, yeah. This, it's about 500 foot from here to where I, the water wheel down there. Wow. So I use it. And it drops 80, about an 85 foot head on it. That's gosh. That's what they call a head anyway. 85 foot drop. Yeah. And how much, how much power can you get from that? 2,500 watts. So what, okay, so if you wanted to power a refrigerator, how much power would that be? That was, uh, wouldn't, I, I got uh, two refrigerators and two freezers on it and it probably would take 50 gallons of uh, 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 50 kilowatts for, to run all them. Okay. Or no, 50, 500 watts to run all of them when they're on. Yeah. And, uh, and but I got inverters in there. I make 110 volt, 220, and I got battery chargers it charges batteries and goes to an inverter to run the refrigerators and freezers to keep for when the voltage drops down it won't hurt nothing right and if it drops or completely quits then my relays open up and it puts all them back on the power company mm -hmm. i don't have to do nothing it does not matter yeah we'll, we'll take a look at all that too that's <laughs> that's fascinating because i don't i don't know how any of that kind of stuff works so that's really it interesting works good. <laughs> So are you telling me that if you had a creek behind your house, you couldn't power your whole house? Well, 
I make about as that generator makes about as much power as I use the whole year. It make it'll make that much, mm -hmm. but I can't save it from the summer to the winter. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can't. So I use it what's left over from the lights and the television and the freezer and the refrigerators and what little other stuff I got on it. Whatever I need over that. And to run some heaters were part of it, and a water heater, and uh, whatever's left over, I make heat for the house, and what it don't make, I buy from the power company. Mm -hmm. and it, it cut my power bill about half or less. That's great. Or maybe a little more than half. Yeah. All right. That's pretty but, cool. But it's not worth it. It's not? No. It's a lot of work, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, well, I'll tell you how much it saves me. If I make two and a half kilowatts and I use all of it. Mm -hmm. Two point five times sixteen cent a kilowatt hour. Nine dollars a day. Nine dollars. Yeah. You're saving nine dollars a day. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Yeah. It, uh, it. Well, no, I don't really save nine dollars a day because I don't use that all the time. Right. I mean, you know, uh, uh, my power bill is, would be about two hundred and fifty dollars a month, and it's around a hundred. Okay. If, like it is now. But you I mean, can't power everything with it. Oh, no, I could get by without it. You could I get mean, by, right, company. yeah. But it wouldn't be quite as smooth as it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, you count the expense, you don't never get your money back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that's pretty That's pretty cool. I like it. Um, so we're going to go back down the hill on the four-wheeler, and uh, and we'll go look at the, the, the bottom, because we got to get back down, lower down on the mountain at this point, because yeah. we're way up. We came up on a four-wheeler all the way up here, and now we're going to go back down, and we'll take a look at some more. <laughs> so we're hanging on. This is all of this is from the the scrap metal place. He did all this. Be careful; those leaves are slippery. Maybe it's my shoes. Yeah, let me see. How many degrees this hill is? It's supposedly 20, that's the best I can tell, it's 27 degrees. It 27. shows 22, but it was show five when it was level. Right. This was a 27 degree hill. It feels steeper than that to me. <laughs> to me too, before I get to the top. <laughs> Be careful. It is pretty up here. And you can see all the sparkles on the ground from the mica. There's a lot of mica in the dirt and the rocks. It's sparkly. It's so sparkly. <laughs> I'm coming. Sorry. Most of the time I sit down there and take a break. I don't blame you. I work out all the time and I'm struggling. This is a nice seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that halfway seat or two thirds of the way. So we will. So you have extra pipe up there, it looks like. Yeah, that's some, some I bought at the bargain. What is this black? I see a little black pipe. I was going to use it. Oh. But so it's just up here. All right. I've got one run down there now, dude. Uh, that goes in the whole water right below where I pick it up at. And it, uh, I ain't never used it for nothing. But let it squirt water out at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it does? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I have to say the water up here is, is wonderful. It's the best tasting water and it's always cold. Even in the summertime. Yeah. Ice cold and very good. 
So it, does it come out of the ground up at the top of the mountain? It springs all the way up to the top. Okay, and it just all kind of comes together. Yeah, it comes together. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I don't know how many springs you are up here, but there's several. Of them. A lot. I know. Well, I love to make that water neighbor two mile long. Yeah, I mean, I I know I've walked on up, and it it is there are tons of little springs that come down. It's wild. So, and it, people it, used to live up here everywhere. Right? I know. I I don't know how in the world they got up and down from here. They were in good shape, apparently. The hill up, up there. He did what now? He carried a piano. Up this hill. Yeah. How? On his back. A said. piano on his back. I've heard that, but I never. I didn't know it. But as steep as this hill is, I would have just passed away. I. I my goodness. It might have been, it, I know it was a small piano. It couldn't have been like a, yeah. But they said he carried one up here. Well, there is no such thing as a lightweight piano. I think they're all heavy. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. He was the guy that, if he got your car in the ditch, which that happened a lot back in his day. Uh-huh. You didn't call the wrecker, you called him, and he come set the back end out of the ditch and then go set the front end out of the ditch. By himself. Yeah. He picked it up. Yeah. Gosh. Like Superman or something. That's what they told on him. I don't know. I didn't know him. He died before I got here. Oh, okay. His, his wife was still up here. He lived in a house down there. Uh-huh. I think people were just sturdier back then or something. <laughs> I know he was. Wow. Oh. That's crazy. See how much taller we are than the house? Yeah, I see that. So this is screen. Where did you get this? Ah, uh, I don't know. Some metal company. So you're gonna put that up there for yeah. the to keep the leaves and sticks and stuff out. Yeah, it should. We'll put it in front where them all them rods were. Maybe it'll slide on off to the end edge. I think it will. It may right. Not, Do you think stuff would get stuck in the holes? Ah, uh, some will. Yeah. Not too bad though. It's not. Well, you know, I don't. I don't know. I, just most, I think most stuff would just kind of go over it. Nothing I've done so far works. So. Well, yes, it does work. It does. <laughs> I mean, it, it don't work. It, it don't clean itself. Well. Maybe this will. Yeah. That's nice. I think that would be a I nice solution. Two hundred and fifty dollars, but this damn steel. Wow. <laughs> hey, kitty. Hey. <laughs> she oh. wants somebody to pet. Her oh, all she's the time. she's nice. Hey. Oh. <laughs> what a nice cat. So now we're headed down to the next part of the generator. Hey, kitty. <laughs> Here's the 
place right here, I can bleed the air off of it. So air gets in the pipe. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it don't hurt nothing. It'll go on out. So is that... So that's hooked into the pipe. Yeah. Yeah, wow, it's coming out. Yeah. It comes out all the time. Wow. That's what makes that water white over our shut air. Air, yeah. Yeah, there's the end of that pipe down there in the creek. You can see the very end of it. A black um, pipe. Oh. Right there. The one that's laying there that goes up there. Yeah. I had it squirting up in there. It would go up. I did squirt down to the rocks down there from there. Wow. Up further. There's the pipe. Oh yeah, coming right here. And it goes underground here, and underground to, oh, I don't know, as far as you can see, well, I don't know how far as you can see. So it goes, all right. <laughs> so there's the pipe. I have to get out. I can't. Oh, okay. For some reason, I can't see it. Oh, yeah. There's the pipe right there. So it goes underground, back up that way. And then it goes over there. Goes down that way. So we've come down the mountain some more to this little house here. And the generator powers this light and the stoplight, but it's not on right now. And the pipe comes right down here. Yeah, that's the pipe right now. Yeah. I covered it up, keep it free in the middle. Oh. It's into a square box there with a valve on it. Uh-huh. And I can shut it most all the way off. Okay. generator is inside here under these big beautiful trees and a kitty hey kitty it's all a job oh is it yeah go right in <laughs> this what is that that's a generator Gas motor. Yeah, that's a gas generator. Oh, 
Yeah. And then, uh, for a while, I used it, heating unit, it started to keep it. I ain't got no covers on it. I just keep a load on it to keep it slowed down. Uh-huh. Yeah. does it take to do what you're doing here? I'm guessing at four to five hundred gallons a minute. A minute? Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, you see the creek coming off. <laughs> yeah. Four to five hundred gallons every minute. Yeah. Goodness. But it's a good toy. A good toy. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the other parts of it. Okay. And here's the swing that he built out of parts where you sit in it and it has a crank and it will turn you around and around and around. Yeah, let me show you. This has nothing to do with the water generator, but look at that, the power generator. So you turn it and it swings. Watch out for hornets. <laughs> See, you stand yeah, on you that. It. Yeah. And they can't swing by themselves. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they did before I put the crank on it. Yeah. <laughs> they can't do it no more. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. What did you make that out of? That's a rear end out of a car. A rear end out of a car and a rim. What is this? What is this big top piece? That's part of a uh, uh, frame for uh, carport. Oh, okay. All of it comes from you know who. The junk iron place. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I like it. So now we are under the house. 
We got the command center down here. And the, all right, what this is this? Uh, what is all that's, this? That's six batteries. Okay. They're marine RV batteries? Yeah, they're deep cycle batteries, they call them. There's okay. six of them. All right. And, uh, so do these store the power? No, they How store like, well, they store the the inverters in there that, I, that, that you convert convert this to 110 volts. Uh -huh. And there's two battery chargers here and uh -huh. one battery charger inside that are hooked up all the time to keep the batteries up. Now, is it in the house? What, the battery? Uh, the, no, the, under the house. Under the house. Yeah. And you have a little light under here. I saw that yeah. you had a light. Is that powered by yeah, the generator yeah, it, as well? Yeah, it's, it comes off. The okay, right. so if you had to come out here at night, you could, yeah. Okay. Huh. And I've got eight solar panels that are happening now. Oh, that's you do? I, I didn't know that. They're charging about six amps. Okay. Six on the solar panels, ten here on this one, and about five on that one, or four. No. No, it's more. Three. Three amps. That's putting in three amps. It varies up and down. Uh-huh. According to how much it's using in there. And you have a lot of plugs and switches over here. I don't know what all that is. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't know, we're all in trouble. One of them is on. One of them's coming straight from the generator. Uh-huh. All right. I don't know. I ain't got a mark. Yeah, this comes straight from the generator. Okay. The, that's what I'm charging the batteries with. Mm, okay. And I think this come from the power company, I think. Mm -hmm. I believe. Or that I, one of them. I don't know which one. Hmm. That see it I says <laughs> hot yeah. and arrows. Oh, okay. That turns the power off to these battery chargers. Oh. Okay. So what you're telling me is this is not some kit you bought at Walmart. No. <laughs> you can't just run down to the store and buy a, a whole setup like this right quick. No. I can't. <laughs> I don't think anybody First can. First place, it costs too much. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I've got to wait until it comes in at the shopping center. <laughs> the scrap metal place. Now you bunk your head in here. Yeah, it's low. Low bridge. There is there is an inverter. Which that, thing? there is a battery charger. This this right it's here. It's charging them batteries out there. Yeah. So this is a pure sine wave inverter. Yeah. Oh my. It's a five thousand watt one. You can pull you can pull five thousand watts off of it. But that, that, they, here's what it's doing now. It's using 240 watts. Okay. 118 volt, 60 cycle. And that's how much voltage is in the batteries out there, 12.8 or 9. Hmm. And it varies from anywhere from 14 down to about 12. And according hmm. to how much is being used. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, all the... Well, here, here's one of the things. You, let's see if I can open this. They don't make it easy, do they? Oops. Oh, come on. Okay. This is for I've got a wire feeding it from the generator or from this inverter here and another one feeding it from the power company. Uh-huh. This. And when that thing is in the up position, that contact and that contact is being made and it runs off of the inverter. Uh-huh. And when you turn the inverter off like this, watch it. That put it right back on the power company. Okay. And it put everything else on the power company. I mean, my other, okay. the, that freezer, that freezer, and the refrigerators, yeah. and uh, everything that's on it. Huh. And 
So you turn you turned I off turned something. Turn the inverter off. Oh, okay. I'll start it back up. When you start it back up, do you have to do something over yeah, here? Yeah, you have to. You have to start it. Oh, okay. I see. There's a switch on the side. Is that how you? Yeah. Oh start no, right it there. That's to turn it off and on. Oh, okay. You got to, in other words, the coil that closes that uh -huh. comes off of the inverter. So if oh. it ain't putting out no power, it drops down and, and, and cuts us back on the power company. It ain't no, it ain't no high tech switch. <laughs> <laughs> but nice. They're expensive enough, but they ain't no, I got that in the junk iron place. But I bought one, it was $200. Yikes. I got another one in the house. That's it. Now I have to go back and reset the one in the uh, kitchen. So you have the stuff. In there is the old one. You have stuff inside that you have to reset yeah. as well. Well, now I got a switch up in the living room to, to cut this one back on. Uh huh. But and the rest of it is just plugged in. But lights on the other side is in here on a cord, and it runs that down the yard to the switch box, and I cut it from the power company back onto the inverter uh -huh. uh, with a switch in the bedroom down there and made some joints in there and there's my thing up there what is that that's the same thing as downstairs oh okay see the it, the, it dropped out the voltage dropped it out mm-hmm so you have to turn it back and there's a button on the side there somewhere oh okay and, uh, so whenever you cut it off, you have to come up here and It'll do that come too. In and to yeah. Cut it back on, and, uh, and when you cut it on, the receptacle back here that the refrigerator's plugged into is is running on the generator or running on the inverter now. Mm -hmm. Power goes off, it cuts it right back on the power company. Hmm. And, uh, wow. That way, I feel a little better about freezers and stuff. Don't go. Without electricity, will not help it. <laughs> yeah. And the generator lot will stop any time. I mean, you know, don't ever know the big a big range coming up, and that'll stop it. It just you know, does it overload it or it, 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 stop them screens up up yonder. And it and just then, then ain't, ain't no water coming down. <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> a, a dry wheel. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Cool. And. The lights in here is on that inverter. Mm -hmm. All the lights all the way down through here is on the inverter, except for the one in the kitchen. It's running off a receptacle over there, a different circuit. And I told Joe not to use it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much good it done. Well, <laughs> okay, so we have this switch as well. This one determines where the power is coming from for the lights. That's down is the power company, uh -huh. and up is the generator. Or the inverter. Is there a center? Setting? Yeah, there's a center, yeah. So that's just nothing. Yeah. No power from anywhere. Right. Okay. And you flip it up, that's the generator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's a receptacle right over there. And there's a switch on it. Mm -hmm. And it. That and says. Water -C wheel. CO and then. And, 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 Water wheel. Water wheel, yeah. Huh. That's that goes straight to the water heater. Okay. And you have outlets on this so you could plug stuff up to it yeah, as well. And, and outlets on it and that's that is straight from the generator down there. It don't uh when they ain't when the generator ain't running, that receptacle ain't no good. Oh. But you can push the switch down and it'll put the water heater back on the power company. Yeah. Okay. So if you were talking to somebody who wanted to make their own power using water, what, what advice would you give them? You need quite a bit of water. Yeah. Uh, I use about a third of what that creek's running now. Mm -hmm. I use about a third of it. And sometimes in the summertime, I'll stop it off because I'm using just about all of it in a dry time. And, but it does run, I've stopped it off two or three summers in the last 15 years mm -hmm. for a, a month, maybe. 
to save the fish in the creek. Right. But you do need <laughs> quite a bit of water. Oh. And a lot of drop. Yeah, like... you got. If you don't have any drop, you don't have any horsepower. Right. And if you don't have any horsepower, your generator don't run. <laughs> so it won't matter how fancy your generator is if you don't have drop. Don't make no difference. They're hard to turn when they're putting out power. Right. And, uh, so it's not something that you could just go buy somewhere and slap together and power your house. No. Not at all. It, it, it just don't work. And, and I would recommend, if anybody's going to do that, don't go like I did with a 110, 220 generator. Go with a, I'll get you a couple of alternators off of a semi truck. Mm -hmm. Oh, and charge batteries and run with an inverter. Hmm. That way you can, at least when, when you're, you're sucking out a lot of electricity, your batteries will take care of it for a while, then they'll charge up while you ain't using it. Mm -hmm. And i got some six batteries down there, so they're truck batteries, and uh, they just, I don't know, they, they, I ain't got enough. A, a dozen wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and they're about 150 dollars a piece. Oh my gosh! And, well, golf cart batteries they say are the best, but okay. there again, I don't know. I didn't buy any. And but I, I would go with that because I run into the thing that I don't have any governors on that mine. I have to vary the load to keep it from running wild. My mm -hmm. 110 volts will go up to 160 or 70 volts. If oh. there ain't no load on it. Oh. And the other goes up about 350. Oh my gosh. 220. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, no. That's dangerous. It's not good on equipment, is no, it? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I keep a load on it. I got, in the wintertime, I got a heater there. I, I, I got a 110 volt water heater mm -hmm. it, it, it takes one and a half kilowatts, 1500 watts to run it. Mm -hmm. And when it gets satisfied, it turns off. I put a regular, off of a regular two, two element water heater switch on, the top, on it. And it turns the power in here onto my electric heater, which uses 1500 watts. And in the summertime, it gets hot. I run air conditioners on it, mm -hmm. and they just run 24 hours a day, just like the heater does. Huh. I turn the heater off in the summertime and turn the air conditioners on. Oh, yeah. And if you want to cut them off, then I've got some heating elements out there that i got wired in. I can turn on to keep the voltage from going too high. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just heat the air up, and it don't do anybody any good at all, <laughs> except outside of you don't ruined that with too high a voltage. Right. But, but with a, if you go with the alternators and batteries and inverters, you don't have to worry about how fast you're turning the generators. It don't make no difference. Yeah. It, uh, it, it, it ain't gonna hurt a thing in the world cause when they get, when the batteries get charged, it lets you speed up the alternators and it don't hurt a thing. Okay. But mine does. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, th I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine does get, get wild. And, <laughs> and my wife is bad to turn. I turn the heater off because it's got too hot in here and light bulb looking like you're looking at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to burn the house down. That'd be bad. Oh, me. But she does good. <laughs> Well, thank you for showing us all of this. It's been really, really interesting. I, I could never, I, I could never come up with something like this. Yeah. This is wild. Well, I tell you, it ain't, it ain't worth the trouble now. It ain't worth the expense of trouble unless the power company goes out of business. Then it's worth millions. Yeah. We're more than gold to you. <laughs> yeah, it'd be good to have if you didn't have any other power. Yeah. And I could get by fine without it. Right. Oh. I just had to be particular when I used a hot plate to cook on. I, I couldn't use probably the oven in the stove. And uh, 
few odds and ends like that. that uh, but you could keep your food cold and yeah, maybe yeah, have a little we'll heat. Keep the freezer, the freezer's running. And, yeah. Uh, uh, that that would uh, be. Get a, a low powered microwave and. Uh, yeah. You could. Get, you get by. Mm -hmm. it'd, it'd be a whole lot better than nothing. Much better than nothing, definitely. Yeah. And, and, you know, I don't worry about leaving the lights on. I have a light on on the front porch, a light down on the building on, and one out back on. They stay on all the time. And, uh, mm -hmm. But they're on the generator, too. <laughs> so it's not costing you anything. Yeah. That, and it helps keep a load on it, too. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, you got to keep a load on it. Mm hmm. So you got to, that's the thing about the power. You can't let it build up and, <laughs> yeah, you got to yeah. burn it off. Yeah. So, well, thank and you. If you if you if you go with alternators off of a big truck and batteries, that eliminates all that. You that you don't you, you right. generate. You don't need governors on nothing. Everything will be fine. So you don't have to worry about water. You don't or, have to worry about the voltage going up or nothing. That sounds that sounds simple and yeah, it is. I mean, cool. it, it worked good. I know it would. Yeah. I wished I'd have done that, but I didn't. I kind of like your setup. I think it's cool. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for showing us all this. Well, this is about trouble free. Trouble free? <laughs> yeah, just about showing up. I ain't done. I ain't done. I have to replace the bearing down there once in a while or uh, uh, brushes in the generator, but dang, set of brushes in the last three or four years. And uh, hmm. it, it, it's, it's near about trouble free. Okay. And outside of the screens get stopped at. <laughs> 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 oh me, it's, uh, but it's worth it to me. I wouldn't take nothing for it. Best toy I got, best paying customer I got. <laughs> yeah, I got a little machine shop, but that's the best paying customer I got. <laughs> <laughs> Your generator. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, sir. It pays all good, all the time.